When we first met Wendy Peacock, she was eagerly awaiting a phone call from the DRI. I'm excited. Um, yeah, I hope everything works out. She was a candidate for the DRI's new clinical trial, a candidate because she suffers from chronic, severe low blood sugars. Sometimes my blood sugar will drop, you know, with no, no reason. It'll just drop. Wendy's a single mom of five-year-old John Paul. They live with her parents for safety. Especially with him being young, um, you know, when my blood sugar starts dropping, obviously it's hard for me to take care of myself, you know, much less him, so that scares me. So while Wendy waited for the call, she dreamed of a better future. And I think for me the biggest thing would be going to sleep at night and not having to worry. Then the call came. The two people that I told first were my parents, because um, they're my support system. Um, you know, for me, um, my support system, my family, they do so much for me. Time to pack and head to the airport. It was just, uh, you know, a million things rushing through my mind. You know, excitement and, you know, scared because you don't know what's going to happen. She arrived in Miami and met with DRI scientists for final prep. The significance of this new trial to test the omentum as a new site of islet transplantation is important, uh, is critically important for us because we'll allow to engineer a mini organ in a site that is physiologically very similar to the pancreas. When I wake up after the transplant, um, again, it's just going to be, you know, that sense of hope. I hope this works out. I hope it lasts. Um, so it's just, you know, you continue to hope. Now uh, this hypothesis has been confirmed for the initial uh, result that we had are quite uh, spectacular. We did not plan to withdraw insulin for the first month because typically when you transplant islets in the liver it takes weeks for them to, to begin working and typically you cannot remove exogenous insulin injection in the first month. But remarkably when we had to uh, remove completely insulin injection, the glucose level had been uh, incredibly stable. I'm still processing all of it. It's surreal to think that I can go to sleep at night and not worry um, that my blood sugar is going to drop. So it's almost like a weight has been lifted and, you know, I can breathe knowing that, you know, I, I'm not going to have those uh, hypoglycemic incidents. So again, I can't say thank you enough to everyone here. They've inspired hope, and I know for so many type 1 diabetics, you know, we're that much closer. So thank you.